Hello, everybody. I'm Jerry Willis. Signs of desperation for the Obama campaign as polls show the president's support eroding. Today's objective, young voters. President Obama counted on them to get him elected, but now he's learning young voters aren't full of hope for him as they were the last time around. Probably because while he's in the White House, many young people are still living at their parents' house, facing few job opportunities. The president today trying to gin up his base among young voters with interviews at MTV and Rolling Stone. But will it work? Here to talk about it, Michelle Fields, political journalist and commentator, Michael Goodwin, columnist for the New York Post, uh, New York Post and Jason Matera, human events editor and radio talk show host. Welcome all. Great to have you here. Michelle, you're a first time. I'm going to go to you first. You know, this uh, MTV interview we were listening to it the, this afternoon, and the questions are unbelievable softballs. It, it's like, so what was your first date with Michelle like? I mean, <laughs> is this what passes for journalism now with the president? <laughs> I think so. I mean, a lot of journalists are on his side, so they're giving him uh, a, an easy shot. But the thing is, is look, he's having a hard time with young voters. We have 11.8% unemployment for 18 to 29-year-olds. and. They were so enthusiastic back in 2008, and now, like you said, they're living in their parents' home, and they're upset and disenchanted. Right. Jason, last time around, the president, 66 uh, percent. His uh, competitor at that time, John McCain, 32 percent among young voters. How hard is this uh, at the end of the day, Michael, when you, when you look at this for people to uh, sign on with the president when you can't get a job if you're a young person? Jason. Okay, yeah. Sorry about well, that. It's okay. I'm asking both of you. <laughs> it's all you know, the, both of you. It, the, the younger, younger voters were an in, indispensable part of Obama's winning coalition in 2008. Can't be stressed enough. 23 million younger voters went and cast their ballot. The vast majority of them went to Barack Obama. That's why he has these Hail Marys trying to get, you know, Bruce Springsteen out in, in Ohio and Iowa, try to uh, get uh, young but people Bruce out to vote for him. Bruce Springsteen is old school. Yeah. I mean, you know come what? On, but you he's think on that's... college camp. But you know what? He, he they, Young people, thousands are coming out on college campuses to go see him. The MTV would sway Callaway. I doubt you, like you said, you're not going to have any hard hitting journalistic questions. Will these tactics work? They do work, but they're not going to work to the same degree they, they did in 2008. I think the question is all about whether young people go and vote at the end of the day. The thing not. I want to go to here, which is something that I think is really important, it's this new ad with a young girl named Lena Dunham. She's, she's an actress in, a, in a, a hit series called Girls. I want you to listen to this. It's pretty provocative. Your first time shouldn't be with just anybody. You want to do it with a great guy. It should be with a guy with beautiful, Someone who really cares about and understands women. My first time voting was amazing. It was this line in the sand. Before I was a girl, now I was a woman. Really? Michael, <laughs> what do you make of this? I mean, I think part of the problem with this for me, sincerely, is that it's yet a more evidence that the president is not being presidential. Right. You know, the, the campaign had to go along with this. It's out there, uh, and, and it's kind of atrocious. It, well, it's creepy. And look, if the president did want to disassociate himself from it, he could have had a super PAC do it or something like that. But for the campaign to be really involved with this, I think, does show the desperation. And it's of a piece with the MTV interview. And, Jerry, the really strange thing is here we are, what, 11, 12 days before the election, and the president's still trying to excite his base. I think I think <laughs> ads like this, what you should have done six months ago, I think, and now you should be reaching to the independents, the centrists, the people you don't already have in your camp. And right. I, I think any time he does something like this, the, the profanity and all the attacks on uh, Mitt Romney, I think it backfires among a different demographic. I, I think older voters, for example, who might be inclined or who are undecided will look at this and say, ooh, that's not for me. Why would he do that? As you say, it's un. Presidential, well, and, and it's it, it's a it say, gives a presidency a bad this, name. You say this ad should have been used earlier in the campaign. I don't think it should have been used at no, all. No, no, Michelle, either. what do you think? I think it's kind of offensive that the only way that they can reach out to young women, because this is the demographic that they're reaching out to, young yeah. women, is to appeal to us through a cheap birth control, Sandra Fluke, <laughs> and now this ad comparing. Uh, That's all you care virginity. about, right? That's it's the very, only thing on your agenda. It's very what, offensive. What is the president missing? 
Well, I, he needs to understand that the economy is the number one issue. It doesn't matter if you're a woman or you're young, you're old, you're a man. The problem is, is we need jobs. But, we but, don't but need he has no plan control. for that. He has no. So he, <laughs> this is all about distracting, turning your attention to something that he thinks you'll like instead of a job. It's let them eat cake. It's Jason, the what do you say? Yeah. Well, it's the frivolity of Barack Obama's campaign. It's binders full of women, bayonets, big bird, and now to top it off, this this message that uh, we're comparing, you know, a, a sexual experience to voting for Barack Obama. I do think, though, the analogy by Lena Dunham is apropos because another four years of Barack Obama will be painful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we have a Gallup tracking poll that has Romney leading Obama 51 to 46 percent with likely voters. And yet... The desperation that we're talking about here, you, you alluded to it, but we didn't say it. The comment from uh, the president about right. Romney, calling him a, I don't even know, a BSer. Let me say it yes. that way. Yes. Now, only he used the word. Yes. The president used the word. The president of the United States. Right. What, I mean, what does that tell you? Well, look, it's the same with the debates. And what's interesting about all these polls, Jerry, is that what they're showing is that the debates, a uh, lot of independents like the president less, having seen him in the three debates, whereas right. a lot of independents like Mitt Romney much more, much more. In the Washington Post ABC poll, it was 47 to 10 for Romney liking him more rather than less. For Obama, it was 17 to 26 liking him less rather than more. So the, the debates did not serve the president well, and yet he continued continues down this path. It's, it's kind of inexplicable. I want to uh, play some sound from Paul Ryan, who I think summed up the problem for young voters best. Here's Paul Ryan. College graduates should not have to live out their 20s in their childhood bedrooms, staring up at fading Obama posters and wondering when they can move out and get going with life. Hey, Jason, didn't that crystallize the problem for young voters? Sure, when you have 15% unemployment and you have 50% of them who can't find jobs once they graduate, they're home eating Cheetos, staying on mommy and dad's couch. But the, the problem is, though, you still have, uh, you still have uh, the, the, the recent poll, a Harvard poll, has uh, Obama leading Mitt Romney by 19 percentage points in that age demographic, 18 to 29. These are your classic case Obama zombies. Barack Obama's, uh, his, his campaigning, his actual policies are, are going to make it a lot harder for young people to find jobs and then to pay off this enormous debt that is sitting on our door. Step, and yet they're still going to cast a vote by and large for Barack Obama in 12 days. Michelle, you, you know, you look at the way Obama campaigns, it's like, here's money for you, here's a pot <laughs> of money for you, student loans, free birth control, and for you, I'm going to give you, you know, like food stamps or whatever or it is, immigration I documents. How does that sound to you? Oh, well, I think it sounds awful. I, I, I personally wouldn't be sucked in into voting for him just because of that. But I think the point is, is that young people aren't enthusiastic about him. And what matters is turnout. And I think <laughs> Romney doesn't have to win the young people, all of the young people. And all he has to do is reduce the margin by which Obama won them in 2008, and that won't be that that big of a like a problem because of the fact that people aren't enthusiastic; they aren't like they were in 2008. Do you want to see a hipster in the White House, or is that important to you? <laughs> or are you looking no. for someone to lead the free world? I mean, what, what's your? Where do you come exactly. down on that? I want someone who can provide more economic freedom and provide a better life for Americans. Well, see, Obama's uh, not even a hipster. An Michael first, o and Jason, Ob then you, okay? Yeah. I think we all want an adult. I mean, these are yeah. really important issues facing the world, from the economy at home to the threats abroad, and to have somebody in there who's just pretending and playing and joking around. I don't think it cuts it among That's serious people. Feels. Yeah. yeah, that's the way it feels, Jason. Well, I'm just saying, I don't even think he's a hipster. I think he's a phony all around. I mean, we have David Commissioner, the M, uh, of the uh, David Stern of the NBA Commissioner, saying he's a scrub pretty much when he plays basketball. The guy wears mom jeans when he goes and throws the first pitch for baseball games. I, I don't, don't even, I don't even know how young people can relate You're to him. You're never coming to the show again. You made fun of mom jeans. I'm just. <laughs> Is he a hipster or not? That's not hipster <laughs> material. Jerry's uh, running. Oh, <laughs> Jason, I'm sorry. That was just cruel of me, but I couldn't help myself. Um, at the end of the day, though, quick round, quick, quick round here. Who's going to win? We're close. Well, look, I mean, right now, Romney's got the momentum, and so Obama has to break Romney's momentum. I don't see how he does that. All right. I'm going to go with Romney. All right, Jason? I'm going to have to go with Mitt Romney. Michael, you know, said it very well. The momentum is on Romney's side in every single swing state. All right. Well, okay, we'll hold you to that. And if you're not right, we'll bring you back. Okay. Michael, Jason, and Michelle, thank you so much for coming on tonight. Great job, guys. And Jason, I'm sorry I made fun of you. I apologize. It's okay. <laughs> Thanks a bunch.